Uh, it happened in the last 30 minutes. Take a look at this video of Minnesota Governor Tim Walz at his polling place in St. Paul, casting his ballot for the 2024 presidential election. Walls was joined by his wife, Gwen, and son, Gus, who just celebrated an 18th birthday and voted for the very first time today. And after voting, the president spoke with the media about the campaign. Take a listen. Well, good morning, everybody, on this beautiful Minnesota day. Uh, super exciting. Uh, cast my vote for Kamala Harris, uh, Amy Klobuchar, Betty McCollum, uh, and had my son with me. Uh, Gus to vote for the first time. Uh, exciting, an opportunity uh, to turn the page on the chaos of Donald Trump and a new way forward. And uh, I think for many of us, uh, the last 24 hours certainly have been a bit shaking with the reporting coming out in the Atlantic. Uh, Donald Trump's dissension into madness and uh, John Kelly's, uh, who I, I thank for showing the courage to come forward, uh, truly telling the world, those closest to Donald Trump know how dangerous he is. Um, the desire of Donald Trump to wish he had generals like Adolf Hitler had, um, Mark Milley's as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, talking about he's the most dangerous person that he's ever encountered. And uh, it goes on and on and on with people around him. Look, Donald Trump made it very clear that this is an election about Donald Trump taking full control of the military to use against his political enemies, taking full control of the Department of Justice to prosecute those who disagree with him, taking full control of the media on what is told and what is told to the American public. And the opportunity here and uh, the absolute requirement of Americans is, is to understand that this rhetoric has not been used in this country, certainly not by a party's presidential nominee. Um, and the opportunity here is to elect Kamala Harris, who's made it clear she stands with the people, she stands with the Constitution. As, uh, as John Kelly said, Donald Trump doesn't understand the Constitution, nor does he respect the rule of law. Uh, if there was ever a red line, uh, he has stepped across it. And so uh, I appreciate uh, General Kelly coming out at this moment. I ask the American public, go, go look, go see what he's saying, and watch this dissension, and uh, get the opportunity. Go to IWillVote.com to get your plan. Get out there and vote, early vote. Grateful for all the poll workers here who got it done. Uh, and just really excited to cast that vote for Kamala Harris. What's your comment on the Russian disinformation campaign against you? I got nothing to say on misinformation, but it's very clear that, that Putin wants Donald Trump to win. Um, Donald Trump wants Putin to win, and so that's all I would say. Yeah, you called child care measure? Did you vote yes or no on that? Uh, on this one, these are local ones on that. I took my advice from uh, Mayor Carter, as I do on many things, and listen to him. I think as a state and things we've talked about, advancements of child care. I'm really excited about what we've done at the state level on that and more that can be done. But go out and vote, everybody. We're excited about what you're doing. Governor, Governor, you're undefeated on the ballot, Governor. Thanks, folks. Right, thank you may have heard WCCO's Esme Murphy there asking a question, and she will be joining me in about an hour here at the live desk to break down that conversation with Governor Tim Walls and talk more about um, a very interesting conversation online that has been have been had about Tim Walls and Elon Musk. More on that coming up.